Hello, this is SJ Talks of Life coming back at you with another video. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I have it on uh, black the blackenterprise.com. Um, my computer's been acting up, so if, it, if some glitches happen, excuse me, but this computer's been acting up. But, um, Wells Fargo are under fire right now because they did some fake job interviews to act like they being all diverse. They did some fake job job interviews to pretend that they're being like interviewing so they can prove that they're interviewing uh, minorities. Now I'm going to go ahead and read this article to you. Uh, I don't know why it's not coming in very clear, but um, uh, I don't know why it's not clear, um, but I'm going to read it to you. Seven current and for former Wells Fargo's employees said they were instructed to interview diverse candidates, even though the decision had been made to hire someone else. The New York Times reports that five other Wells Fargo employees were aware of the practice or helped to arrange it. According to the employees, the fake interviews were conducted to boost the bank's diversity efforts on paper and in anticipation of regulatory audits. Joe Bruno, who joined the bank in 2000 and worked his way up to a marketing leader overseeing 14 branches of its wealth management operation in Florida, said he was often told to conduct interviews with black candidates for financial consultant positions, which were lower paying jobs. He added the bank had no intention of hiring them because either he or his supervisors had already picked someone. Ain't that a mess? I got a black person on the other side of the table who has no shot at getting the job, he told his bosses. Tony Thorpe, a senior manager for the bank in Nashville overseeing 60 people, said he never conducted a fake interview but was required to document that he tried to find a diverse pool of candidates despite knowing who was getting the job. Okay, it's not letting me scroll down. It's acting up again. This computer acting up again. Yep, it's acting up again. My computer's been acting up on me big time. But yeah, um, basically, uh, they've been they. What the article said, they've been they've been interviewing. They already knew who they was gonna get the job to, but they um, interviewed black applicants, knowing that they wasn't gonna hire them, just to prove that. They were, um, okay, a former, this one says, okay, a former employer and manager in the area where Banks had applied said Banks was a victim of a fake interview. Banks was eventually hired by Wells Fargo in 2018 in a more junior position and laid off in 2000 as a result of the pandemic. 2020, I mean, I'm sorry, 2020. Wells Fargo spokesman Jennifer Langan told Black Enterprise in a statement that the bank could not collaborate the claims but has significant improvements adding the adding uh, since 2021 minority hiring has increased by 27%. Uh -huh. Wells Fargo has been hit with a litany racial discrimination lawsuits related to its hiring processes and its treatment of black customers at the same time the bank has donated millions to black business and in, business and causes. So yeah, that's that's because they're trying to clean it up. That's because they're trying to clean it up, not trying to donate. Uh yeah. Um I'm gonna show you. It's interesting because I'm gonna try to go back to Google. Um I was looking up earlier, uh they They've gotten quite a few discrimination law suits over the years. Uh, Wells Fargo has gotten quite a few 
discrimination lawsuits over the years. Um, uh, this is not the only time. This is not the only incident. I mean, over I've, I've been reading different things. Uh, this is just the, the latest thing, but um, uh, see, I'm going to click on, I'm going to uh, Wells Fargo hires discrimination, Wells Fargo's discrimination. When you click on Wells Fargo's discrimination, you get uh, Wells Fargo Bank sued for race discrimination in mortgage. That was of April 26, 222. Wells Fargo lawsuit discriminated discrimination against black loan applicants. That's April 25th, 2022. Wells Fargo to pay $175 million settlement in discrimination. A court has ruled that Wells Fargo will pay $175 million as a result of a lawsuit based on discriminatory actions of the firm from 2004 to 2009. Uh, a black homeowner is suing Wells Fargo claiming, this is on March 21st, 2022, a black ho homeowner is suing Wells Fargo, claiming discrimination. A lawsuit filed in uh, federal court in California says the bank's lending practices. You know, um, I'm just reading. I'm just reading out these titles here. Wells Fargo responds to discriminatory lending allegations. This was of April 26, 2022. Wells Fargo was still wrestling with allegations of racial discrimination in its home lending practices. Uh, well, Fargo refuses the black female judge in class action lawsuit. April 21st, 2022, Wells Fargo refuses black female judge in class action racial discrimination case. So they don't want, they didn't want a black judge in, in a racial discrimination case. They, they is a hot mess. So that's not the only incident. They, they've got several, they've got many instances on here. It looks like they have a long history of, of discrimination. It looks like they got a history here of being discriminatory uh, in their lending practices, employment. Yeah, they don't. Um, Wells Fargo accused of discrimination in lending New York. Uh, yeah, they, they've got a long history of, they have some, yeah, history of discrimination. Wells Fargo rejects nearly half of their black home, homeowners. This was March 16, 2022. And, you know, I know you heard about Wendy Williams and what they do doing to her. Yeah, they is a mess. Wells Fargo's a hot mess. Yeah, I wanted to talk about this and put them on blast. Um, I wouldn't bank. I wouldn't bank with these people. I, I'm, I'm never going to bank with these people ever. They're very discriminatory. Um, they've been discriminatory in their lending practices. They're discriminatory in their hiring practices. Um, you know, doing conducting fake interviews. Discrimination against black loan applicants. Tell me again how there's no racism. You know, a lot of a lot of people a lot of people want to claim there's no more racism. Oh, racism is a thing in the past. They want to holler there's no racism. Tell me again how there's no racism. A lot of people a lot of people want to claim that because they're in denial, and uh, they don't want to face the facts that racism is still very much alive and well. And it's right here. It's like they have a, 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 a they have a lot of instances on here of being racist. I wanted to, to put them on blast. Mm-hmm. I'm not I'm never I'm never gonna bank with these people. Mm-hmm. You see what they do. Wendy Williams, I'm 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 aware. I don't know if you, you guys are aware of what they're doing to Wendy Williams. They got Wendy Williams money all tied up. You know, trying to put her on their conservatorship. I didn't even know a bank could do that. I didn't even know a bank could do that. I didn't know a bank could could hold up your money like that because she got sick, you know, when she got sick and everything and she had to take off work and um, she had to take, she had to take some time off her show because uh, she was sick and um, 
Um, and she was dealing with some mental health issues and she was dealing, she was sick. So she, uh, that she had to take some time off and then they going to have the nerve to lock her money up and try to keep her from getting her money. So now she's going back and forth with them, uh, trying to get her money back. They got their nerve. What makes them think that they have the right to just take her money like that? I didn't know a bank could even do that. I, I had no idea that a bank could even do that. But I would think by her being rich, she would have her money. She wouldn't just have all her money in one account. I thought that rich people put broke up their money and put it in several accounts. You know, I don't know. I, I would think by her being rich, she would have had her more that she would have more than just one account. I mean, as broke as I am, I had one, more than one account. <laughs> As broke as I am. <laughs> uh, but that's what I'm saying. It seems like that's what rich people would do. You know. Anyway. I don't know. I don't know why. what's going on with that. But but yeah. They're, they're, Wells Fargo is being very discriminatory. Uh, and their hiring practices. And their loan, lending practices. Um, black people should boycott them. And not. If if they, you got a count with them, draw your money out. Um, I I wouldn't do business with these people. I wouldn't do business. They're they're very discriminatory. Fake interviews, conducting fake interviews to make it look like they hiring black folks and and they ain't. That takes the case. That takes the case. Fake job interviews. Mm hmm. Staging fake job interviews. That's a mess. Yep, they is a mess. I'm sorry you guys can't see this very well. But yeah, they is a mess. Fake interviews. Wells Fargo's accused of, ho accused of holding fake interviews. A former executive of Wells Fargo's bank is claiming that the company held fake job interviews for minority can candidates. And they knew they weren't going to give them the job. Mm -hmm. So I hope they sue them. I hope they sue them. Well, I just wanted to let you guys know about that. Um, yeah, I'm not there. I'm never banking with them. Never going to do business with them. And I, I would recommend that, you know, no black people, black people should boycott these, these companies. When these companies are discriminatory like that and has discriminatory practices, don't do business with them. I would do, do not do business with them. So let me know if you heard about this in the comments section and let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe, like, and uh, notification bell until the next video. Be blessed.